The OTC 2376 ankle locking stabilizer is usually prescribed for people who have chronic ankle instability but still want to be active and engage in sports and other activities. It features a built-in plastic exoskeleton for maximum medial lateral support along with crisscrossing straps to further stabilize the area. The front lace arrangement allows for more precise adjustment than is permitted with a wraparound or pull-on style of ankle support. The product is customarily sized according to shoe size. Size charts are shown on the back panel of the product carton. After selecting the correct size, remove the support from the carton and unfasten the crisscrossing straps to open it up. Then unfasten and loosen the front lacing so the support can easily slide onto the foot and up over the heel to its correct position. Next, adjust the tongue so it covers the instep area comfortably without bunching. Then proceed to lace the support snugly, but not too tight, just like you would a high top tennis shoe. This support features grommets on the distal end and speed lace clips to make it easier to lace up the proximal end. As you see, using the clips to crisscross the laces makes for an easy and efficient operation. Then tie off in a bow, just like a high top tennis shoe, getting a uniform, snug fit all the way up. After the support has been laced up and tied, take one of the crisscrossing straps and pass it over the instep and then underneath the arch of the foot, and fasten it on the other side. Repeat the process with the other strap. Thus, you create a crisscross or figure eight system that provides support and stability by limiting joint movement. When working with the crisscross straps, be sure to keep the lacing out of the way so that it doesn't catch on the closure tabs. Once you have fastened the crisscross straps, show the patient how to grasp hold of the loops on either side of the straps and release them, pulling straight up for additional uplift and support. Then fasten them once again. After you are satisfied with the overall adjustment and positioning, have the patient stand and take a few careful steps to make sure the support is appropriate for the patient and that it is also fitted correctly. Once the fitting is complete, be sure to go over with the patient the laundering and care instructions that are found on the back panel of the product carton.